Good morning, guys. This is Nadir Shah in Chicago, and you're watching my channel, Knowledge for Quality of Life. Right now, it's about 6.50 a.m. in Chicago time, and we are about to prepare breakfast. Uh, so I'll be sharing soon uh, what we have done so far, and uh, I'll share with you how I make my pour-over coffee. See you soon. So this is the setup I have. Uh, this is a warmer electrical kettle. This is a coffee grinder. Uh, these are my coffee beans. And this is the new pack. Uh, it's available in Aldi. If somebody is curious to know where I get it normally. And this is the weighing scale. So I'll be putting about 18 grams of Let's make it zero, tear it. Different people like different coffee. So it varies from 16 grams uh, coffee to 20, 22, depending on how strong you want to make it. So I go about 18. And I'm going to start the warmer and the water needs to be between 200 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. If you have too much boiling water, then you know, you may lose some efficacy of the uh, potency of the coffee beans uh, because there are certain oils, there are certain polyphenols in the coffee, which you don't want to overkill it with too much hot water. This is the filter. Now remember that coffee has some beautiful chemicals in it, very potent chemicals in it, like polyphenols and rich oils. And But it has also one chemical which is known as cafestrol. And if you don't filter it, that cafestrol is going to end up in your coffee and that may increase uh, your LDL, a low density lipoprotein cholesterol. So uh, to avoid that, you know, it's, it's a good idea to use the good quality filter and filter your coffee so that, you know, you may not get uh, the uh, cholesterol in your coffee. Uh, but again, you know, when I'm going to put the coffee in here and some people say that, you know, too much filtering it, it may deplete some of the beautiful uh, oils which is present in the coffee. So I'm going to pre-soak the filter, make the filter saturated so that it reduces the potency of further, you know, absorption. And that way I can warm up my cup as well. So I'm going to boil it up a little bit water, warm it up a little bit, 280 or so, and saturate the filter and that way my cup is going to be a little bit you know temperature differential because it's going to get a little bit warmer and when i pour my coffee it's going to stay a little bit longer so i can enjoy my coffee for a decent amount of time it may not turn much cooler because i try to avoid reheating the coffee no one should reheat the coffee because you know coffee reheating coffee or reheating the tea it loses its efficacy All the credit goes to my son who taught me how to make this thing. It was cumbersome in the beginning, but now it's very therapeutic. Now I'm 
grinding the beans. Now I am adding a little bit Ceylon cinnamon, about 500 to 600 grams. Remember that cinnamon is very good for your insulin sensitivity. This is one of the nutraceuticals which I'll be sharing further in due course. Now I am pouring my ground coffee. Water is getting there. I set it up at 201 degrees Fahrenheit. As I said that it should be between 200 and 205. It's done. So I'm going to start counting my timing here. First pour I'm doing, going to do up to 100 grams of water and let the grounds soak a little bit. Mm, what the aroma, nice. That's the beauty of the fresh coffee. And I'm going to wait till 45 seconds and then I'm going to pour the rest. I'm going to pour up to 320 grams of water. I'm trying to put all the grounds which are on the filter inside the liquid so that you know it can get soaked pretty well. And then I'm going to give a stir. It's still dripping. It's done. 
It's black coffee. I don't eat, add anything, any cream, no sugar, nothing. So what you see here, this is a cup of coffee, which I just showed you. And this is my plate. Two slices of uh, coconut flour bread, which I shared with you how I make it. Handful of berries, half medium size to large size avocado and two pasteurized egg. This is my breakfast. So that's gonna last me till six in the evening, six, 6.30 when I'll have my dinner. Two meal a day. See you guys soon.